Great. Um, Senator Roberts. Thank you, Chair. Thank, Thank you for you. appearing tonight. Um, could, could you please produce the document that Senator Smith refer referenced about opportunity for competition between federal and state? Yes, so he, he's talking about a uh, thesis I did. That's uh, fine. Um, but I hope I could find it, yes. <laughs> it's uh, probably over notice. 40 years ago, which shows how long I've been practising, but yes. Okay, thank you. If you could take that on notice. It was um, called Crafting Bright Lines. Okay. Sounds very optimistic. Yes. <laughs> if, if, I can move to the, if I can move to the origin energy takeover. In waving through the $18.7 billion takeover with minimal conditions, the, triple, uh, the ACCC said the benefits of a quicker transition to low carbon energy mm -hmm. would outweigh the disadvantages. Can you please elaborate on exactly what the disadvantages would be? Yes, so you're talking about the proposed merger which didn't uh, proceed. Yes. Yes. So the competition concerns uh, were that... No, could you please elaborate on what the disadvantages... So that's what you're starting to do. Yes, Sorry. yes. The disadvantages were the concern about uh, competition detriments mm -hmm. and they related to the existing ownership that a Brookfield uh, through investment had in Osnet, so uh, tra the transmission network in Victoria particularly, and that uh, there was a concern that the vertical integration between uh, the investment in new renewable projects that uh, were being conducted and coming through, through Origin, that uh, sitting at the control of Osnet, that there would be the incentive to preference the origin uh, ventures uh, in preference to other competitive ventures. That was the competition concern. That was the uh, detriment. Uh, also, if you have further questions, more detail can be given by Mr Loiner, who's there on the screen. I just wanted to know the disadvantages. Thank you. You have two avenues to approve a deal, I, I understand. Number one, you believe it would not likely substantially lessen competition. Correct. And number two, the, pub the likely public benefits would outweigh the detriments. So you've approved this under the second limb, which means you couldn't do it under the first one. That's correct. We, we, were con we reached the view that we were not satisfied that there was no likely substantial lessening of competition. Okay. Does ACCC stand for Australian Climate Change Cop? Where is it in your charter to enforce the wind and solar transition? You're meant to regulate competition. You're meant to regulate competition. We are, but the transition to net zero is an important area where parties can put to us public benefit. So under our Act, we are able to approve. In fact, Senator, you just read out the second limb of that approval and the parties submitted to us that that is a public benefit. Uh, it is a public benefit as defined in various governmental at state and commonwealth level uh, commitments and objectives and also in multiple engagements with community. Um, so I can, for example, also tell you over the last five years, one quarter of the applications to the ACCC for authorisation have included a reference to a claim of a sustainability benefit. We require absolute evidence of uh, such a benefit. We require to be satisfied that they will be of ongoing significance. Uh, uh, other examples of such benefits would be increased employment, increased investment in innovation uh, that, uh, that people can put before us, but uh, greater sustainability and uh, supporting a transition to net zero is one of the public benefits that can be put before us. Thank you. An expert advisor you consulted during your deliberations on the origin takeover disagreed with your assessment of the balance of detriments and benefits. Who was that and what did they say? So we did produce that report. So that was a report by Frontier Economics. I will. Um, have Mr Loiner also talked to that, but they uh, looked at the uh, development that they thought was likely to occur and thought that there would be a similar 
uh, investment in other renewable ventures if that transaction did not proceed. Okay. Is it possible to take it on notice to provide that dissenting opinion? So, um, Mr Loney, can you confirm for me? I think we published it with, um, with our report, so we could give a link, but I'll check if that's correct. Thank you, Senator Roberts. Um, I'm going to you, uh, Senator McKim, because I think Senator Smith wasn't quite ready. Uh, oh, no, I was just asking you don't release the comments. Yes, yes. Commission. Well, I was, yes, okay. I got your Great. secret. Thank you. What was Thank a secret you. squirrel Senator I got there? Excuse me, Senator Chair. McKim. Chair, that was only five minutes. I thought you'd concluded. No, no, I hadn't concluded you at all. You were having a pause. Yes, for a feed and pause. Okay. Thank Continue. you. Continue. Senator Roberts. How exactly did you quantify the benefits of low carbon dioxide energy <laughs> and what dollar figure did you put on it? We, we first uh, looked to analysis that had been uh, provided by the Department of Climate Change, Energy, Environment and Water. Could, could I, on notice, could I get a copy of that, please? Uh, yes. Thank you. And uh, we, in addition, looked at what the parties had put before us and uh, the business plans in order to bring forward in an accelerated manner uh, the investment and rollout of further renewables. Thank you. Doesn't it require... Doesn't policy to cut human production of carbon dioxide require the specific quantified effect of carbon dioxide from human activity on climate. You know, that, that has to be the basis of policy. Yet no one can provide that to me. No one. In, we, that, in that matter, we relied upon uh, evidence that had been done by the department and what we received from the parties. We, that's the Department of Climate Change? Yes, yes. A and... We do not, uh, it, it is not required when we weigh up uh, the relevant uh, benefit and detriment uh, to be able to absolutely quantify it. And often it is not possible to absolutely quantify it, but we do need to feel we have sufficient evidence to be satisfied. And it was a finely balanced decision, but we did reach that conclusion. I don't know, Mr Liner, if you want to add anything to that. Uh, Tom Moyer, Executive General Manager of the Mergers, Exemptions and Digital Division. I actually did just want to respond to that early question. That Frontier report is online and we are happy to provide a link to that. Okay, because I would have thought to, first of all, justify it, you'd have to know the, the uh, spe specific effect of carbon dioxide from human activity on climate to measure the, the disadvantages uh, as well as the, the costs of um, any abatement. And then you'd have to do a cost-benefit analysis. Then you'd have to look at several different options. Uh, surely that would be a matter of policy. Uh, and then you would need such a figure anyway to be able to track your progress on implementing your policy and what are the benefits. So I can't understand how we can go down this path without, any, without a simple understanding of the specific effects of human carbon dioxide. So I... I can say, Senator, that there are very significant scientific reports as part of the United Nations uh, progressive set of reports on those impacts. Uh, I understand from your question you're, you're not satisfied with them, but I would put them before you. Thank you. We could have another talk about that one day. Mm -hmm. because Last not question, Senator Roberts. Where, where in your deliberations did you consider that every country that has pursued low carbon dioxide energy has had their electricity bills go up almost inversely proportional. That we, we did ask ourselves and we do include in our analysis whether we could anticipate the price effects. So we did uh, raise that point in the analysis. It's, it's a lengthy analysis about benefits and detriments. That's in the report? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Senator.